<laughs> yeah, this is always fun. Okay, new video here from Frosty. Let's see. Season 4, the great, the horrible, the fun, and the sexy. Back, you Diablo 4 super fans. For those of you who sacrificed your precious time to participate in the Season 4 PTR, I salute you. It must have been hard to pry yourself away from Season 3. The... <laughs> best season we ever had. Well, maybe not for you barbarians. We all know how you thoroughly hated how weak you were. But don't worry, I have some good news don't for you later in my box. PTR tier list. But enough about that, as I need to inform you all that even though this is not going to be an odd season, which are widely known to be the best seasons, there were some changes in the PTR that dare I say were actually half decent. First oh, yes. off, being able to really store good. all legendary power levels in your codex was maybe my favorite new system update. No longer will I need to save those crappy legendaries, leaving me with so much more room to stash all my precious yellow items. Some of you are probably thinking, yellows are basically worthless. <laughs> I never want to do this again, man. Look at this inventory. Like, Okay, big chore. You have to, you know, thought through an inventory full of crap. And you are so stupid for collecting them. But what I would say to that is you are obviously the stupid ones. Because why would Blizzard still have yellows drop in the endgame? Because maybe they aren't worthless? I'd explain to you why that is. But if you are even questioning it at this point, you obviously don't respect the deal. Yeah, I think the Double I, think, I think the yellows should just always drop as veiled crystals in World Tier 4. There's literally no point. After playing the game for a few hours, like you never want to see a yellow item ever again. Development teams I mean they have less stats and they don't have any like legendary effects, right? Ability to thoroughly think things through, and you should just stop watching right now because you disgust me. I also really enjoyed the completely new Greater Rift mode. I mean, Pit. All right, okay, guys. Can we just call them Greater Rifts? It's fine. I yeah, promise. Just call them Rifts. We're all though. okay with it. But I think the developers did it during the live stream as well. Just like the Pit is the new Rift system, or the old Rift system coming, making a comeback in the Outer Four. I am just not gonna call these. But I like the Rift system. Realms. So it's good. That it's just great. sounds so ridiculous. Another new feature I thought was a great idea was the level 200 Uber Uber bosses. I guess you heard Uber, we Uber, like Uber, Ubers, Uber. so now we can farm Ubers for our Ubers to use when we fight Uber Ubers. And out of all the changes, the most important one was that I was actually having a fun time playing. I don't know if it was the Diablo 3 item rework or the last epoch well, crafting man. system. Maybe it was the Diablo 2 terror zone like hell tides and the powerful new path of exile style screen obliterating builds. But whatever it was, you can trust me. Oh, I was man. not the only you one having fun. PTR is fun so far. That's a lot of fun shit actually. This is I think the most fun I've ever had in Diablo 4. Oh, that was fun and worth it. Boom shakalaka. They, they made it faster to level up to 100 and also it's more fun. God, this build is fun, man. I was having so much fun trying some chance. new builds, man. Tomb Lord! Is this a new boss? Have you heard of a fun little stat called plus two frozen orb? Altide seems to be fun now. I think this is definitely the best version of Diablo 4 ever. I just felt the pit had like this perfect flow state of the game. Blizzard size, that's kind of fun too. God, Minesweeper is fun. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that in a game that's just about Wait, going around killing monsters? Or... It's fun. He just plays it. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that in a game that's Maybe just... it was like we had like some survey issues. It's about going around Ooh, killing monsters. Waka. The most fun thing to do is to just go around killing monsters. I mean, I really enjoyed like killing the first uber bosses, man. And uh, yeah, then, then this happened. <laughs> I can't see my screen even, man. <laughs> it's just dust devils. The hour has been fun so far, and yeah, we'll see how it's gonna go. This is more fun than Diablo 4. Yes, it was a lot of fun, but not everything was rainbows and butterflies. Oh, sorry, Deckard. Too soon. <laughs> Get killed by a purple butterfly. Soon, my bad. Yeah, well, anyway, cool. some people, including myself, had some issues and problems with the PTR, but I guess that's what a PTR is for. 
first. Yeah. I would like to say, I was upset that the new item rework made it so I was spending less time in town, and thought Blizzard was just catering to all the Diablo 4 noobs, and forgot about us gigachads, who I love our time in town doing menial tasks, like years. staring at our inventory, or running from one side of the map to the other because the vendors were so far apart. But that's where I discovered the true potential of master working. Yep. No, not the outcome, which are quite powerful, but that they added an extremely long animation, and the ability to fail the craft, leading us to being back in town for extended periods of time once again. But okay, for some reason, others didn't seem to be quite as excited as I was. This is gonna be like such a big part of the endgame, guys. It's crazy. You're gonna be standing in town for hours and hours crafting. And the delay when it fails is just to rub it in, man. You know, like it's... <laughs> dude, the delay is actually longer. Like, masterwork fails like extra 10 seconds, you know, just stare at it and uh, grieve. Rub it in, man. You lost. It's extra long when it fails. You failed, you idiot. Oh, and who could forget this revolutionary and genius system for material conversion. Are you ready? <laughs> Welcome to the future, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, in case you don't know where, this is uh, changing the one. higher master bag materials for my the hands ones. dying already really just stupid watching to this. having to click 100 times to open 100 bags, especially because you need to like craft thousands of them. Who thought of this, man? Like. Like, click a hundred times, break your hand. Yeah. Like, what the fuck, man? Another issue, I mean, super badass outcome I noticed with the removal of many forms of But it's an easy reduction. fix, though. Like, they will fix Bosses this. Bosses were now one-shotting people, even with maxed out armor and resistances. I am sure, even with the removal of the cheat death potion, hardcore players are super excited about this. Even with the removal I didn't really of... this issue. Ah, he's playing a necromancer. Look, like he's not playing Bob. Rookie mistake. Yeah, necromancer? Okay. Even with maxed out armor and resistances. I am sure, even with the removal of the cheat Just death play potion, another class. hardcore players are super excited about this. I think the Seething Just Hive the Master, room. aka Seething Ass Blaster, is like three tiers higher than the second hardest boss. If any of them. Look, like guys, one. Wait, what? How did he just get murdered there? Tears higher. Ah, he's than a sword. Okay, boss. I get it. If any of them, three tears higher than the second hardest boss. If any. Like literally just a hundred. Old. I mean, he had like a ninety percent life. Plop. Well, there's like a projectile coming towards him. This fire thing. Boom. Dead. Any of them. That guy just 100 owed me again, right? But he, I have 71% cap fire res, he just 100 owed me. Those are the major tortoises. For a, a pit boss, I think this is, uh, the difficulty here is a little bit too high. We got him, boys. First try. Let's go. Before I present my most dreaded observation about the PTR with you, let's first take a quick look at some other people's feedback that I am positive the Diablo 4 developers are listening to while enjoying a large popcorn and laughing. Yeah, so uh, right now there are, I think that there's a few different concerns we're hearing from the community. I promise you this, this is, this is I think a, a lot, great job. Sit back, grab a drink, get your React faces <laughs> ready, <laughs> uh, and let's do it. Does anybody... I like that. I mean, I think PTI, like, man, season four is just going to revitalize the game a lot. And then obviously leading up to season five and then the expansion. End of this year, guys. It's going to be lit. I hate the fact that it doesn't show you the range here. Why is it only taking the dual wield weapon damage? The description is still wrong. Did they remove implicits from pants? <gasps> Man, why didn't they make a blade shift duration mod? Ah. Don't drop me a yellow in the pit. I can't use it. It's completely stupid that it snapshots over power over the duration. Like, it it sucks. Like here in this overview, you don't see how many attempts are left. My first nightmare dungeon in forever. And now they have me backtracking. Why do you have keyword search? Do you guys ever use this? Healing received. Like why is this still a stat? Like, sucks and it can't temper it like this effect is nothing right it does literally no damage i guess they've removed implicits from pants haven't they also like why does the hurricane look like it's resetting why is damage to distant enemies higher than damage to close enemies nah, i mean close is already like so op i think this just needs a nerf anyways can't click again 
Every time I need it, it just stops working, even full HP. I don't get my potions back when I respawn. Why is this red? Why is everything red? Wait, why is this guy bald? I think I should put this somewhere else. <laughs> yes. Not here. Dude, I equipped everything red. I equipped Wait, why is this? And he just lost his hair. <laughs> Look at this, my druid has shako. And he just got bald. <laughs> but it's just okay. The editing is just 10 out of 10. Man, look, like, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Why is my druid bald? Enemies can't click again every time I need it, just stops working, even full HP. I don't get my potions back when I respawn. Why is this red? Why is everything red? Wait, why is this guy bald? I think I should put this somewhere else, not here. Like, why is it here? Why can't I walk? What happened? Why does it fail? I don't know how to like royally piss you off. <laughs> yeah, this is like, why would you play season three? It's insane. Why didn't I just put a new Enix on Dario? Here why you guys. Is this guy bald? People. Oh, nice. I just ruined everything. I love that. Thank why did you for lose that. All his hair. Thumbs up, man. Love that. Again, I'm a little sad that we've lost implicit on pants, but I'm trying to remember what were the implicit on pants. Now, for Duh. my final and most worrisome problem, I noticed on the PTR which was that Blizzard, once again, is assuming us Diablo 4 loyalists have friends and seems to be promoting Don't group play guys more than friends. ever with the increased XP and hyper spawning in Helltides to how uber boss fights function with their horribly boring and time-consuming material farm needed to fight them. But when done in a party, everyone gets the loot drops, making it feel almost idiotic doing them solo. And really, group play wouldn't be too big of a problem if it wasn't for the recent phenomenon known as the Blizzard censoring effect. No, but the Helltide feels awesome in group. Blizzard for some reason, awesome. this causes individuals to become easily annoyed at each other, and in some cases, even sexually frustrated. The oh, earliest no. signs of this were recorded just oh, yeah, after yeah, yeah. the portraits in Warcraft were changed. Too much exposure. <laughs> But now, with Undariel being a main boss, I am now seeing the effect slowly creep- Dude, Diablo 2 didn't give a fuck, man. Just like, you know, boobs out there, no problem. Now she has to wear some armor. ...into the Diablo 4 community. With the most recent example being when I watched completely unedited Riker and out of context Rax do a few uber runs. I know I ran out of materials, but I didn't farm back up. I just created a new character. You are literally just lighting materials on fire. Is there going to be any scenario where I will be taking my shirt off? Not even shirtless Riker can make me feel better. Damn, really? What if I show you my two-hander? You know, the one I'm talking about. Bigger always equals better. Sword. I'm going to call the dildo police to come slap you. And it's gonna be a big spiky one. So let's just start slapping that everywhere. I'll do it. It's just so hard seeing people suffer from this effect. Which brings me to today's okay. sponsor. We that here at sick. Blizzard Activision have had a bad rap about our censoring policies in the past. But we had to make it look like we cared about those things, even Which... though we were the ones who fucked up. <laughs> anyway, that's behind us now, because that was Blizzard Activision's mistake. And we are now Blizzard, Activision, Microsoft. Microsoft. And we're rebranding to be super hip and cool. And we hate censorship. And people who try to prevent us monopolizing the gaming industry. I mean, wait, what? Uh, yeah, we, we hate censorship. And we're super oh, cool with Stellar me. Blade. And also love epic collaborations. So after a success with our last collaboration with Capcom, we wanted to really make a change and help those affected by the Blizzard censoring effect with another, even more epic, no, dare I say legendary collaboration with the sexiest individual we could find. I mean- Dude, target audience, check. <laughs> in able to get in such short notice. Sup y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold. Season four, hey guys, hey listen up. Diablo is saved, the game's good now. Uh, Blizzard is finally listening. It was their last chance and everything's gonna be okay. That's right guys. By the time season four comes out, they're finally gonna have everything ready and it's gonna be good game again. Diablo four is finally out of beta. That's what people have been saying on the internet. Season four, game launches. Who else is ready to pre-order the new uh, $99 expansion with a uh, $120 uh, pre-order ultimate Lilith bonus, uh, Lilith OnlyFans bonus edition that gives you three-day early access for $135 a month? Oh, 
OMG. Damn, what a great deal. This is exactly what I would expect. There was, also, there was also a KFC in there. Look at this, man. You also get a Three day program. early. Gee, the dream. Day access for $135 a month. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> what a great deal. This is exactly what I would expect from an amazing AAA company. <laughs> guys, guys, we gotta all buy the expansion, right? Like... Oh, the game's gonna be lit. Come on. You would also expect not to have to load everyone else's stash around you. Good one, Riker. Dude, but anyway. Loading stash. Oh, yeah, it kind of works. Good way. Onto the PTR tier list. Before I get started on this, I first was wondering if I should well, even I make one. Tier list makes not really any sense right now. I mean, half the builds that we know yeah, are gonna get nerfed. Most likely, so. Tier list is kind of stupid. We'll make it I draft, see what though. you're saying, Woody. You're saying that a tier list for the PTR, which is not even active anymore, is the single smartest idea you ever heard. Okay, at number two. Yes, this is a ridiculously short tier list, but if you want a full one, let me know in the comments. Anyway, my number two build goes to the Minion Necro. Minions are as strong as they are stupid this season, so they can absolutely wreck an I mean, uber boss, but these billion, dumb bro. shits will be staring at a destructible door for minutes on end, trying to figure out what to well, do. Just gonna and the now, uber boss. the moment you've all been waiting for, coming in at number one, we have the Dust Devil Barbarian. Yes, what a surprise, Hashtag this one. complete underdog of an underperforming class finally has a good season. Yeah, Bob was never viable, what? ...in build, and it will probably be the best build of Season 4, even if they receive a round of nerfs. What classes and builds are looking promising? <laughs> I'll just play Bob, I guess. Just play a Barbarian, easy. When the Butcher goes to sleep, he has nightmares about my Barbarian <laughs> appearing in his dungeons. If we start spinning here, and look what happens. <laughs> this is Elites now, yes? This, this is how it looks <laughs> if you spin on Elites. Dude, what the fuck is what the fuck is going on here? What am I what, <laughs> what am I watching? Wait, why is he spawning so many tornadoes? Okay. What the fuck? Early thoughts <laughs> on this build versus Frozen Orb. This build's gonna be way stronger, Frosty. Well, if you made it to the end here, oh, I yeah, salute Frosty. you once more. And look forward to what's to come in season four. Good Hopefully. video. So why don't we why don't we end on a 30 we second? Will, we will end on a 30 second dance party. All so right. Rod, ready? Take us away. 30 second dance party. <laughs> yeah. Bye everyone. <laughs> oh good stuff. Man. Yes! Yeah. Bye. Well, good stuff. <laughs> Great video here, my friends. Give it a like, thumbs up. Man, that must have been a lot of work. Like editing all these clips, man, especially like the the Riker and Rex part in the middle, like where it goes like back and forward and stuff, and like just just having a bunch of clips in, in, in general in there. <laughs> really good stuff. <laughs> yeah, look at all those twisters, man. Like there's, about my barbarian there's a couple appearing in his dungeons. We start, we start spinning, spinning here. and we start winning. Like look what happens. <laughs> this is elites now. Yes, this this is how it looks if you spin on elites. Dude, what the fuck is what the fuck is going on here? Easy. What am I what, <laughs> what am I watching? Wait, why is he spawning so many tornadoes? Okay, what the fuck? Early thoughts on this build. It is, can't believe it, man. Yeah, good stuff. A great editing. 11 out of 10. Let's go. Rusty Laro. GG. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.